Well, greetings and welcome to The View from the Road. This is my mostly weekly video talking about the goings-on in the Thompson School District and the greater Loveland area. And uh, the weather has kind of turned. I mean, I, I just got back from a conference in Puerto Rico, fantastic conference. There's going to be all kinds of stuff and ideas that I need to process still. And, uh, you know, going from uh, 82 degrees and uh, hot and humid to 7 degrees this morning and snow on the ground was a bit of a rude awakening, but I'm glad to be home and glad to be back doing what I'm doing. But that leads to, uh, I read the uh, Michener book, The Drifters, years ago, and uh, one of the characters, Britta, she's from Norway, and she was, northern Norway, and she was talking about how uh, the winter is kind of like going through a tunnel because the sun never comes up. Well, we are emerging from the tunnel. Despite the snow on the ground, uh, spring is just around the corner. We're supposed to have great weather at the end of this week, so I'm super excited. But there's a lot going on. We had a tryout night last night at Bill Reed Middle School. We've got a tryout slash rental night at Mountain View tomorrow night, which is a combination for for Conball Middle School and uh, Riverview PK through eight and for High Plains School. So we're gonna be there uh, helping with everything that we can help with and giving information about the, uh, you know, getting your instruments and getting your equipment and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, super excited, looking forward to that. But with all this busy, I was talking with the director that he's got musical coming up, just had all state, all that kind of stuff. And we were just busier than ever. But I, you know, think back a couple years ago when we weren't busy, when there was nothing that we could do and uh, this is a much happier problem to have versus that so we'll definitely take the uh, chaos and the hectic pace over uh, the uh, subdued uh, lifestyle that we had just a couple years ago so super thankful for uh, having so much to do the other thing that's going on, speaking of being busy, is uh, it was the small school CBA festival was going on yesterday. I was talking with the director who took uh, his band to that. And uh, I mean, it's a small band to begin with. Well, a third of the band didn't make it to the festival for one reason or another. I know the snow yesterday morning didn't help, but there were illnesses, there were family issues, there were pre-scheduled conflicts that he wasn't aware of. I mean, it just decimated his band. And, um, but he was still super proud of the kids who were there and the adjudicators uh, gave appropriate remarks about that that you know the kids that were there played their hearts out and did the best that they could under the circumstances and I related to him it was a movie he hadn't seen and I know it's uh, getting a little long in the tooth now but it was a movie called Hoosiers uh, starring Gene Hackman and he's a basketball coach in Indiana and uh, I know at that time and maybe still now uh, the state of Indiana doesn't care how big your school is it's one big tournament for which is the best uh, basketball team in the state and uh, Gene Hackman's character uh, it's at a, a game earlier on when he's still trying to get buy-in from the kids and getting them to believe in his system uh, and he's only got six kids on the team and one of them just won't do what he wants to do he's, he's shooting when he should be passing he's you know not uh, sharing the ball he's just not listening to instructions so he benches them and uh, as the game progresses another kid ends up fouling out of the game and this kid tries to get back into the game he starts suiting up and Gene Hackman says well what are you doing where are you going he says well I'm going into the game he says sit down you know, he refused to let him into the game, and when the referees came to him and said, uh, Coach, we need one more, we've only got four, he says, my team's on the floor. And at the end of that, and the team got slaughtered, of course, um, he was talking to his team in the locker room afterwards and said, you know, I was really proud of those of you that were on the floor at the end there. And that's the kind of buy-in that we're looking for, and that's the kind of effort that we're looking for. Again, going back to what we've been through the last couple of years, um, that effort, that commitment is what is so important now and the results will take care of themselves over time and so I appreciate that you know this director and the adjudicators understood um, again what the real accomplishment is that these kids that put forth the effort that were committed to being there that showed up and played their part the best that they could that was a huge accomplishment and that should be recognized. So kudos to them. Uh, I didn't get to hear the performance, but I'm super proud of the effort and the work that went into it. So that is your view from the road. As always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, like, share, subscribe, uh, and uh, let me know what you think. You know, Share down below uh, stuff that you want to see in these videos and we will catch up with you next time. Thank you for riding along and seeing the view from the road. If you like this video, please share it with a friend, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Facebook and you will never miss a new video. I'm Drew Holmes, owner of Boomer Music Company and educational representative for the Thompson School District in Loveland, Colorado. Thanks for watching.